Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our EOAX removal compilation video today. Uh, if you never come across our channel before, we post new EOAX removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9pm UK time. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. So in this video today, we have four different patients. The first three are wax removals. The last one is a really interesting skin peel. So make sure you stay tuned for the last one of the uh, of the compilation as well. So without further ado, we'll go straight into uh, into the video today. So let's pop that up on screen. So what you can see here is we've got this patient has a, a very sort of hard, dark uh, piece of wax that's lodged in the canal there. So we're just using the standard size on the tube just to slowly try and remove this. But as you can see, the surface of the wax is really, really tough. It's really quite hardened up. Not the easiest thing to get a grip on with uh, with suction. So what I'm trying to do here is just wiggle it back and forth, trying to get any kind of purchase on there. But as you can see, it's not really budging. So if we put a layer of olive oil over this, so we're just going to spray some uh, surgical grade olive oil in here. And then what happens is it coats the outer part of this wax and helps to uh, just slide it across the skin a little bit better, but it also helps us to get a better grip as well. You can see we're just gently kind of rocking this up and down, which works the oil down the side of the wax, but also helps us to get a little bit more maneuverability. There you go, you can see it coming towards the outer part of your canal. It's almost like a little round ball of hard wax, this one. So we've just got it to the outside, we're just gonna spin it over now to get to the softer, uh, wax underneath which is going to give us a better grip with the suction and there we are out it pops you can see the white skin debris there on the outside it's almost a complete spherical block of wax that one now we'll take a look behind you can see the eardrum there now what you'll see there's where it's been rubbing here look on the canal so I'm just going to try and tidy up some of the skin here, but see the really red spot there? That's where the wax has been rubbing back and forth. So it's almost formed like a little blister that's popped. Um, so I'm going to just see if it'll come away easily, but if not, I'm going to leave that there to heal itself. Um, this is the piece that we removed. You can see here where we just had a half an inch, so a centimeter across really quite a thick uh, hard piece of wax here um I apologies for not posting any videos last week we had a bit of a nightmare last week uh basically we uh, an area close to us has gone into lockdown and two of the staff members uh, live in that area which means they couldn't come into work so that we had to organize them working from home and then we had a flood in clinic from one of the apartments above drip straight through into our uh, a clinic room so it meant that we we just we were all over the shop last week which is why we didn't get any videos unfortunately sorry guys uh, but we're back to normal again this week uh, so yeah should get videos every day this week so what you can see now we've got uh, this patient's got some really kind of soft and uh, squishy kind of wax there at the base of the canal with a harder section in the center a little bit of dry skin around the outside edge so I'm just trying to use the suction tube to detach all those little bits of dry skin around the edge piece there trying to find a good grip there we are and just rocking it ever so slightly just to fold the wax over uh, what we can do then if you've got a particularly hard section of wax when you fold it the section behind and the side sections tend to be a little bit softer so it enables you to get a better grip there we are nice big plug of wax come away there and if we take a look behind that then you can see we've got it all out there. There's the eardrum there looking nice and healthy. Good light reflex, you can see there. Very, very dark colored wax, this one. So very old, uh, been in there quite a long time. So we've got a centimeter, uh, was that just under half an inch, I think, is it? Yep, just under half an inch there. So um, yeah, you can see little hairs embedded in there as well. So we're on our third patient now of this compilation. Uh, this ear canal, you can see, has some skin on the outside of it. So uh, we've got a little bit of wet wax, a little bit of olive oil has gone in here. Patients softened up before they, come, before they came in. That's the wax section there. But attached to the back of the wax, you've got this skin debris, which you'll just see there as we pull it across to the left-hand side. So what's been happening here is this wax is actually dried around the ribbon of skin. Uh, so I'm trying to work this out here. So just slowing the video down, trying to get a good grip on the skin behind. And as we pull this, you'll see that ribbon coming away there nicely. There we go. So you can see this long kind of thin tail of skin at the back of that wax there. There's the eardrum looking nice and healthy. This is the patient's second ear. So you'll see we've got a similar story on this side. Uh, this kind of very wet uh, skin and wax debris here at the entrance to the canal still attached 
up to the left hand side. Uh, don't forget to stay tuned, guys. That the uh, coming up after this one's a really, really interesting case. Doesn't last too long, but a really interesting case. And then you can see we've just getting a good grip on the skin debris, trying to kind of get enough of a grip to pull this away. It's really holding in there tightly. There we go. If we wiggle this up and down, you can see that's the actual wax portion of this blockage that's come away there. And now we're just going to take this section. You can see the loose skin there. So we're just going to get a good grip, wiggle it up and down. There we are. And off it comes. And there's the eardrum there. Not so much, not such a good light reflex on that one. You can see it was just slightly diffused because the eardrum probably isn't sitting in its normal position. Look at that skin ribbon there. So we're up to oh, just over a centimeter and a half. I've zoomed in too quick. I can't do the inches. At half in there. Just over, about an inch and a quarter uh, altogether. So this is a really interesting case, this one. We're going to stop the video in a second. There we go. We've got a really thin, almost spiderwebby thin layer of skin that's building up in front of this uh, eardrum. That's the eardrum there you can see behind it. But see how it's formed just in front of the ear canal? It's almost just like one skin cell thick. And it's all, it's attached, look, in the center. You can see where the two pieces have met. So you've got this hole at the top, hole at the bottom there. And then we've got this dry... Uh, wax debris around the outside. Now this lady came through to clear it. She's a keen swimmer and noticed when she was going swimming that her ear canals weren't clearing very well with uh, with water uh, coming back out. So I think the reason for that is the water was getting through those little two little holes you could see and sitting behind that thin um, spiderwebby type skin that you can see in there um, and they just pooling back there. So it was taking a lot long time for that to kind of dry out and evaporate out. So what we're doing first is clearing all this uh, debris from the outer part of the ear canal here. Just pulling that down from the top right corner. There we go. And that means then we can get a much, much better view of this skin debris. Can you, one thing you'll notice, can you see there's a bit of a sheen to the skin? If you look to the right hand side, you'll see almost like a little lip that's come up of this the spiderwebby skin as well. And there's a sheen all the way along the outside, um, which would indicate to me that this spiderwebby skin is coming quite the way down the canal. So we're going to use the fine end here. There's a little bit of olive oil the patient's introduced in here as well, which is adding to that sheen effect. But when you get a grip on look, see how this starts to peel away from the canal wall? There, see it lift from that right side. I'm trying to get a good, good enough grip. I want to try to take the whole thing away in one go if we can. Because if this folds flat against the canal wall, it's going to be really, really hard to lift that back off again. So uh, I just realized I left my blooming glasses off again. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna get a grip on this bottom section here, hold tight, really hold the suction there. Look how this peels away now as we draw it down the canal. It's like um, a cling film we have here in the UK, like a, a, a really thin transparent layer look coming away. It's peeling all the way down the canal. Needs to get a grip in that central section again there, really hold on to it. It's pulling all of that sheen skin off the canal wall. They're really kind of taking it all out in one go. Look how that's coming away. I've really slowed the video down so you can get a good look at it. Um, unfortunately, this bit of skin, as you see, it did actually get sucked inside, so I couldn't show you on the on the on the paper after. But this is what you can see just how thin that layer was. Such a such a translucent piece of skin. Very would have been very easy to miss. GP's never spotted it before, um, but really really easy to to miss that kind of uh, that problem there. I mean, obviously with the endoscope we can get in a little bit deeper. We can get a good look at these things, uh, make it a bit easier to take that away. Out, but looking. Uh, you know, with a normal oroscope, you may not have noticed that. And the eardrum there looks lovely and healthy. So let's go back to our normal view again. There we go. Um, yeah, so what you can see in, in um, I'll take these back off again. Um, what you can see with those videos, we had lots of very simple procedures for the first three. The, the third one in with that little skin ribbon there, you can see how, how you get these kind of skin formations in the ear canal. And uh, due to a little bit of dryness in there. But that last patient, a really, really interesting case where you see this very thin layer, which on first glance you'd think wouldn't really be causing too much difficulty. But with uh, any water getting behind that, being trapped behind that thin layer, it's not going to come away as easily as it should do. I have got an absolute brilliant video coming up. I haven't had a chance to edit it today uh, because it just I, I, I just don't have time. So I'm going to try and get that done either Wednesday or Friday this week. A really, really tough case. Very similar 
um, issue to the last person you saw in this video as well. But this has been going on for a little bit longer and the wax much, much drier. Uh, patient normally goes to see their consultant to get it cleaned out, but the hospital's not opened back up for it yet. So they came to see us and we must clear it out. So really, really interesting one. So stay tuned for that one. We're going to do that a bit later on in the week. Uh, apologies again for not posting last week. It was just absolutely mental here. We had so much going on that I just didn't have a chance to do it. But we're back to normal this week. So I shall see you again on Wednesday. Take care of yourselves and one another. Uh, have a good couple of days.